This is day one post summit day, and we are at the Appalachian Trail Hostel and Outfitters. And so I'm gonna do a really quick run through of this top floor, and then I'm going to be meeting my family and uh, Phoenix, who's over there. Funny enough, she put her toe socks on this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you putting your toe socks on? Why? Like, why? And she was like, it's a ritual. It's a ritual. It's habit. Yeah. So we just got a little chuckle out of that. But uh, season one and her family are going to meet us, her husband, uh, and I think probably her friends that came up are going to meet us over there. My brother, sister-in-law, aunt, maybe Natalie and John. And uh, so we're going to go over there and have some breakfast. And then we're going to have to say goodbye to each other and uh, go our separate ways. But we will always stay connected. Yeah. So, by always. By heart and by yes. signal. That's yeah. right. So, all right, let me show you this quick tour here of the upstairs. So, that's where I was at last night. And you have to take your sheets off at the end of the day and put them downstairs. And then, I won't go all the way through here because I don't know if there's other people here. But... Um, so a bathroom here that I didn't even pay attention to. And then this space here and some more rooms over here. And then I think there's a private room over on that side. But on the next floor, they've got some more rooms. They've got two showers, another bathroom, and then there's a kitchen. And I'll take you down there in a second because I'm going to start bringing my stuff down there. But there's the stairs to go down there and the bunk was $35 for the night quick view of the middle level the showers over there it's bathroom right here there's some more bunks back there and then this is a kitchen area that people can use I gotta go back upstairs and grab a couple more things Well, it was pretty hard saying goodbye to Phoenix and season one. I feel so weird and uh, I know we're gonna stay in touch. They're like sisters to me, I love them. But I, um, I know Phoenix has gotta stay back and I, uh, I hope she has a good restful day today. And season one finally gets to go home and see her family. This is my brother. <laughs> this is my brother doing selfies for himself. <laughs> there, there, so we're driving out of town. Look at the view we've got. Looks so far away. Believe it or not, we're back in Monson. There's the moose. And Shaw's is right around the corner. We are stopping at the general store. Oh, they have a special chicken taco wrap. Shaw's is right where all those cars are right there. I'm gonna close out for tonight. It was a long day. We spent the entire day in the car. Got out a few times just to figure out where we're going. We stopped in Monson. And now we're in Jackson, New Hampshire, and we'll head to Vermont tomorrow. And we're gonna stay at the Trail Angels, uh, Dave, that took us in, took us three in on the way north. We're gonna stay back at his cabin tomorrow and take him out to dinner. And then we're gonna continue heading south as we head to Florida. So it's been great to be able to spend some time with my aunt my brother and my sister-in-law. I'm just so grateful that they took the time to come up here. I know it was a long drive for both groups because one came from Missouri and the other one came up from Florida, but I have uh, really enjoyed having them with me and it's been fun sharing some of my experiences and stories with them. So that has helped a lot. I feel um, uh, weird not being around season one and Phoenix uh, sent a message to Solo and uh, 
connected with some of the other people. Uh, Nine Lives, Tin Cup, uh, uh, just a bunch of a bunch of the hikers that we've uh, connected with on trail and just shared my summit photos with them and uh, wishing them well because some of them are getting ready to summit tomorrow. So that was kind of cool. I also ran into a couple people that are getting ready to get into the 100 mile wilderness tomorrow. And so I was able to give them a little bit of information. Um, and that was kind of neat to be able to share that. So, so transition, that's, you know, that's about all I can tell you right now. I'm still processing, but it's a, a lot different not being on the trail. So I will see you tomorrow. You're more than welcome to join me on the way home to, from um, Katahdin to Florida, if you'd like. Uh, I'll share a little bit. I don't know how much it's going to, how exciting it's going to be, but uh, it is what's happening. So I will see you tomorrow if you decide to keep on hanging out with me. Bye. Peace out. It's the second day off the trail, and... I'm looking at all the grays in my hair. <laughs> I have regular clothes on and we are by Mount Washington. So I'm not sure if we're going to go there or not, but it looks like a beautiful day outside and I'm packed up. I'm ready to go eat some breakfast and see what the day has. So talked to season one this morning and left a message for Phoenix. She's getting shuttled to uh, where she's going to be picking up the, her flight, I think in Portland, maybe. I'm not really sure. But um, both Susan and I woke up at 5.30 this morning, <laughs> like we do every day. <laughs> Outside our hotel for 9-11. We just discovered this stream behind the hotel. There's a golf course right over there. <laughs> this is my hike for the day. <laughs> this is too cool to be here. Yeah, this is pretty. The mountains right over there. They have a little fire pit and a pool. This is beautiful. And it was, I think, 107 for the night. This is called the Jackson Lodge. We had a breakfast this morning. It was eggs, bacon. They had waffles, yogurt, fruit, cereal, bagels, some pastries. So that's a good deal. Comfy beds, nice shower. There's my brother and my sister-in-law right there and my aunt's down there, but she doesn't like to be filmed. So I'm going to respect that and keep her off the video, but she's been awesome. Love having her on this journey back home. I still feel like I should be out there hiking, but we are heading to Vermont via Hanover today. So we'll go over the uh, New Hampshire Vermont Bridge, I think. And that'll be fun to do with them. Retrace some of my steps. We are stopping at the Covered Bridge gift shop. Oh, look at it. Those wouldn't take a lot of bird seed. <laughs> oh, now here are some mushrooms. You guys know I took a lot of pictures of mushrooms. Oh, I like these. That's pretty cool. I guess this road is no longer for general traffic. <laughs> I believe that range is something that we were on. The White Mountains. Yep, those are the White Mountains ahead of us. Wow. What a gorgeous day to be in the mountains, whether on foot or in car. Holy cow. You can even 
starting to see the colors of the leaves changing. Wow. wow. Unbelievable. What a different perspective, like my aunt just said. We are at the Crawford Notch State Park, but look at this view. There's Mount Washington in the background over there. Whoops, right there. The whites, beautiful but hard. We are on, look at there's Michelle, it's my sister-in-law. We are at Dartmouth College, there's Tin Man. <laughs> And we uh, are gonna go pick up my aunt and then go to the cafeteria and have some lunch. But we are on the Dartmouth campus. And then after lunch, we're gonna swing by the gym and say hi to Kevin and then head on to Vermont. Well, that was a bust. They're doing uh, orientation this week. And so no openings for general public. So we're gonna go to Molly's. I think that's the name of it. And we're gonna eat lunch there, so. On to the next. It's sort of like my packages, right? <laughs> Ended up at Molly's. And that was my mom's name. So, I'm having a quesadilla. We are at the sports complex where Dartmouth Volleyball is practicing. And so we're going to go inside and say hi to Kevin who hosted us. I a while ago, I mean, when we were in uh, Hanover. And so it is busy, busy, busy campus today because everybody's getting on campus. And so we're gonna say a quick hi, and then we are going to uh, head over to Vermont. It's taken us a little bit longer to get this day moving than we thought, but we're getting there one step at a time. We are Dartmouth Live. Practicing on two courts today. All right, second place, second time we've been to this place for dinner, Clarny, and that's where we came, the first time we came out to Dave's. So we're gonna head back in there and kinda do this all over again with my family and Dave. Good morning, I'm in Dave's cabin and getting ready to head over to his place, my brother, sister-in-law and niece or aunt are already there having some coffee and I am just getting uh, sheets into the washer and get myself put together. So I'm going to head over there and then we are going to be heading south today. I don't know if there's going to be anything exciting going on, but if so, I'll take you with, if not, I don't know, because I don't know what our plan is right now. So all I know is I'm ready to start heading south and um, it's time to get home. So I will see you on the, tra on the trail. Oh my gosh, I wish that was happening. I will see you on the road. <laughs> Just stopped at this Green Mountain Sugar House that Dawn um, told us about. So we're gonna get a picture over there. This is the place. Can't wait to get in there and get a maple creamy, even though it's early. It's like 10 o'clock. <laughs> We're going for it anyways. Let's see what else we can find here. Look at all this stuff. Uh oh. Good thing I'm not eating this stuff. This crowd is over for <clears throat> maple creamies. Yes. She was turned on when I walked in the door. Awesome. This lady is a celebrity. No, I am not. She just completed. So Dave has got the okay to show me this down here. This is where all the magic happens, right? Yeah, that's where they boil it. They actually boil the seal and you see it's a sign. Ah, another part of the downstairs where all the magic happens. Get one of these and a maple creamy. Is that a mood ring? Lots of stuff. That's my package right here. Is my maple creamy that I've been waiting for. <laughs> we were told this was the one place to go to get them. Mm -hmm. They're really good. I have my maple creamy. Mm -hmm. And look at this jug of maple syrup I have. <laughs> All right, these two are heading out, heading to Missouri. Thank you guys so much. You guys remember Tin, tin Man, right? Mm -hmm. 
And this is his better half, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Ten women. That's right. Oh, you're better than that. We're heading to New York. Just went under the overpass in New York for the Appalachian Trail. Still en route, getting ready to go into New Jersey. Okay. I gotta get the other way. Here's New Jersey. In New Jersey, so we hit Vermont today, New York today, and right now we're in New Jersey. So we're ticking away. We still have quite a few states to go. Just hit Pennsylvania. We are going near Philadelphia, taking the bypass, but this is the skyline of Philadelphia. We are making some progress. We don't have any blazes to follow, but we're taking it one mile at a time. <laughs> We ended the day in Delaware and we have a little over 12 hours to go before we get home. Calling it a night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Peace out. Eating breakfast in Fairfield this morning. I'm trying to reduce the amount of food that I'm eating, but I don't know that I'm doing a good job. Right here, I see all that cinnamon? It's because the whole can emptied up into my yogurt. I just missed the sign again, but we just went into Maryland. We're in Maryland, bypassing Washington, D.C. We are in South Carolina, and we're getting ready to go to Cookout. I've been driving for the last couple hours. Missed most of the states that we were going through because I was driving. But now it's time to eat, and then we have a little over three hours before we get home. I have made it home. Here's Gina and Marcos, two of my biggest trail angels. And... I have to show you inside, they decorated for me. But now it's time to get my stuff out of my aunt's car. And, oh, look at this, let me turn this around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys this. See this when I was coming around the corner, but look at what my daughter put and Marcos put out in front for me. Isn't that sweet? Aw, now I gotta get my backpack out because I gotta get my stuff out of it. We made it through all the states. Got home 11 o'clock on Friday, summoned it on Monday, and got to see my kitties. And now I get down back. I have to show you guys what Marcos and Gina did. Got all these pictures, carrot cake, which I love. She had to put this one in there. That was me. I was trying to show everybody how much I was sweating during the heat wave. And then look at what they did. Isn't that sweet? And they have all my pictures up there. And I think, oh yeah, the summit picture. <laughs> and then our snicker picture. So cool. Those two rock, they're two of my trail angels. My cats remembered me. There's Patches, baby. And there's my Rocky. I hope they're gonna be sleeping with me tonight. Okay, I'm calling it a night. I am finally home. It is Friday and we summited on Monday. So now it's time for me to get good night's sleep with my cat and my other one. And Get ready to start a day of errands tomorrow. And then I think I'm gonna go on a hike. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey and let's see what happens next. Peace out. Went out for breakfast this morning with Gina, Marcos, Anaya, and my Aunt Joan. And then now I'm getting a pedicure, but this is the funny part. I left my house without my phone, so I had to go back. And then I realized that I didn't have shoes. I didn't bring shoes with me, so I had to go get my shoes and my phone. But now we're at the um, spa and getting a pedicure. First thing on my list. There you go. There's Gina. Hello. <laughs>